So this is a place they uh, make stone stuff. So like gravestones and countertops and I don't know what. Anyway, they have a lot of this scrap that they're just gonna throw away. And I had a talk with the guy. Um, last time I went by here, I asked him if I could like take any of this. And I mean, some of these slabs are pretty huge and they're like marble and stuff. They're really beautiful. And he's like, yeah, just take whatever you want. And I'm like, that's pretty crazy. Like these big slabs of stone are usually pretty hard to come by and they are expensive. So I'm thinking, what can I use this for? <laughs> I mean, look at these. They're gorgeous. I just want to take all of it. I just don't have, I mean, look at this stone. It's so beautiful. So as you can see, some of these have, some of these slabs like have holes in them. So I guess they, I don't know, <laughs> cut outs. I mean, look at that stone. It is gorgeous. But I don't have any equipment, so I don't have any way to cut this piece into just a square with the right size for something I could use. Cause I, well, I don't have a stone cutter. So these guys are on vacation. And even if they were here, I, I'm guessing they would have to get paid for them to do something like that for me. So those tiny slabs up there, even though if they're tiny, they are really, really heavy. Cause I mean, it's stone. So it's not so easy to just rumble around up there and what, see if I can find something of interest. You know, it's, um, and I don't have any gloves or anything. So I might have to come back here or something. I don't know. I mean, this just seems like a too good opportunity to let go, you know? I mean, and I'm a huge fan of stone and stone surfaces in my home. So I like, I really, I want all this. I'm like, oh, <laughs> can I take it all? <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to do some measurements at home and see what I can, if I can use any of this. And I'm also just really drooling on having like a beautiful marble piece on my kitchen, on my kitchen towner, on my kitchen, kitchen countertop. Um, that would be really gorgeous, but obviously it requires the right measurements and stuff like that. I just, if you guys have any suggestions to what I could do with any of this stuff without any proper tools, just um, let me know, huh? I mean... So yeah, it's been a while. I haven't been able to put out a video in like forever it feels like, at least like a couple of months. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but basically when we moved here, I thought I was gonna have to get a job at some point. Um, Cause usually you do have to get a job to get money. Um, but turns out I might not have to cause of my illness and long time illness. In Norway, we have different solutions for people like me who can't work because of illnesses. Um, and it turns out that I might not have to get a job, which is like a good thing for my health. If I can actually get approved this more permanent solution where I get money from the government, um, but still can't work because I'm too sick. Um, if I get that on a more permanent basis, that means I don't have to worry about that. But on the other hand, that means I won't get the normal perks that people have when they have a job. That usually means getting to know people, having a daily or like a like a routine, like a daily routine or like get to know people, be social to a certain extent and just have that normalcy of the routine and the things you do every day and and sense of accomplishment and sense of, you know, that you're making money. Even if you don't love your job, you're you're you have something to do, you're contributing. Um, 
And you don't get that at all in my situation. And that sucks. And when we moved here, I thought I would be able to, at some point, be in a job situation that would kind of force me to get to know people. But it turns out that might not happen now. And that just makes me more lonely. And it just makes me realize that I don't have any career ambitions. Like I don't have, I don't have anything in my life. And like I am, you know, I haven't made a video in quite a while and I'm just gonna be totally honest with you guys. You know, I am always honest. Um, you can say a lot of stuff about me, but at least I am honest. I like, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. I'm not doing too well after we moved here. I feel totally empty. Like I don't have any mo motivation. I don't have any inspiration. I don't have any energy. I don't have any ideas. I don't have anything. It's just totally empty. I'm like a shell. I'm like a zombie. I just, I can't feel anything. I don't even give a fuck anymore. And I have not made a video in so long, even though I, I don't want to give up YouTube. I love making YouTube videos and I, I really want, if I could like choose any one thing I would do right now in my life that I would really like have success at, I think it would be YouTube. I really love doing YouTube. I really love this. Like, I love making videos. Except it is really, really hard for me to make videos. I really struggle with my focus and concentration and that's something you are going to need if you are editing videos which makes the video editing and the, all the work with getting videos out on this channel, it makes it very, very hard for me. And I hate that. I just really feel like shit, you guys. Like seriously, what the hell am I doing? It's so tiring to constantly struggle with that feeling and that voice in my head that says, why do you even care? Why do you even give a fuck? Why, why do you even try? And I have to over and over and over again, convince myself, or at least try to convince myself of the opposite, that it is worth it. It's going to be good. It is a constant struggle in my head for every little small thing constantly and I'm so tired of it and I'm really not making this video to get sympathy from you guys I'm not saying all of this for you to feel sorry for me or sympathy comments or whatever I don't like thank you but that's not the point the point is that I just have to make something I already hate this video and it's not even done yet. the next day I talked a bit about the stones and stuff like that with my boyfriend yesterday and I'd actually totally forgotten that we have um, outside on our terrace we have this uh, little this we don't know what's under here <laughs> most likely it's nothing but 
it's not very pretty and like it's a bit crooked and um, not very well built so it's I don't know if you can see it from this footage but it's kind of yeah so um, and we can't really use it for anything I was thinking okay why not uh, see if we can find uh, one of those stone slabs that could fit uh, perfectly on this you could just put it here and that way it would work as a table in a much better way than it does now because now it's just like a nothing i have taken some measurements and i'm hoping that we can find a stone slab that's pretty that will fit i think that could be really nice actually I think we're gonna go over there a bit later and have a look, take some measurements, and if we find one that will fit, we'll just take it. <laughs> Beautiful day today. So we are on our way back there now. Got some gloves here and uh, measuring tape. I have a couple of ones in mind that I think might be perfect. So, let's close our fingers. I was looking at these and most of these have these holes in them, so they're not going to be very pretty. But I actually see now that some of these... Oh my god, they're so heavy! Oh, I can't hardly separate these. Um, oh, wow. They're just dirty. I mean, they're really actually very pretty. This too is really nice, actually. I think this is too small though. <gasps> wow, look at that. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's actually a bit small. Oh, God. This might be big enough. Yes. This is actually 80-80, but I think actually this could be, we could use this uh, for the terrace. Den blir lite, den skulle egentlig vært lenger, men det går å legge den der. This is so dirty hard to see what it is actually and also I was thinking about this this too it's probably too small I thought these would be like way big enough but actually the space that thing outside on our terrace is bigger than I thought so yeah these are not big enough actually I want my whole kitchen counter to look like this one day I wish I could afford it. Yeah. That would be so gorgeous. And like these two behind here. I'm betting this is part of a kitchen counter. I mean, oh, look at this. And it's so gorgeous. To have a kitchen counter out of stone is like, it's one of my dreams, my interior dreams. Someday. Kind of hurts though, because I could basically have it for free. <laughs> like, these are free, I could take them. A tile. Yeah, it's actually a tile. But look at this. <gasps> Ooh, this is really nice. Dude. I'm gonna take this. This is like perfect for- Cutting board. Yeah, like a cutting board or just a display board, something like that. We can just have it in our kitchen. And this is, oh, this is so perfect. Look at that, it's so gorgeous. But we are definitely getting this. This is, I mean, this only like this little thing is so heavy, but I have puny arms, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, don't laugh. 
<laughs> I told you I like marble, right? So even like the extra towels in my car are marble. Don't judge. <laughs> Oh, nice! Yay! <laughs> yes, I hoped these would come back this year, um, but unfortunately, it looks like they're dead. you can see like because this, this whole thing is a little crooked and I have no idea what this is but at least now it looks it looks better we can actually use it now and it looks so much better I don't really use this terrace that much so I'm not really interested in putting in a lot of time and money and effort and I think it looks much better now and it's for free I think I'm gonna end the vlog vlog here, you guys. I am gonna have some dinner and relax. And tomorrow I'm gonna edit this vlog and hopefully get it out to you. I wanna thank you guys for supporting me and supporting my channel, even though I cannot get videos out every week as it is right now. I hope I will in the future. Um, I really appreciate all you guys and all you guys' comments and the likes on the video and please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I really appreciate it. And of course, um, I don't know exactly when I will see you next. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I will see you again very soon. Sending lots of love, you guys. Bye.